Example three, find the equation of curve that passes through the points negative one two. There's a typo mistake here. Please change one two to negative one two and has a gradient function dy dx equal to square root seven minus two x. Using the same concept to find the equation of curve, you have to integrate your gradient function that is square root of seven minus two x. So how to find this? First, you know that square root is power half. So now you have to integrate the composite function. First, you copy down the inside function, 7 minus 2x, power, half plus 1, the power. So it becomes 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2. Remember to differentiate the inside function, which is negative 2. And the last one, you should put plus c there. So y equal to negative 7 minus 2x, power 3 over 2, over 3 plus c. Now you have to find the value of c. You have to use this point, negative 1, 2. y equal to 2, negative 7, minus 2 times negative 1. You have 9 power 3 over 2 over 3 plus c. So this equal to negative 9 plus c. So therefore your c equal to 11. Therefore, your final answer, y equal to negative 7 minus 2x, power 3 over 2 over 3 plus 11. So this is your final answer. So look at here, your answer here, this is the wrong answer. So the correct answer is y equal to negative 7 minus 2x, power 3 over 2 over 3 plus 11. Now we proceed to example 4. Given that the curve has a gradient function, dy dx equal to 3x squared plus h. So this is your gradient function, dy dx equal to 3x squared plus h. And this curve has a minimum point, minus 2, 6. So whenever you see the words minimum points or maximum point, this imply dy dx equal to 0, meaning when your x equal to negative 2, dy dx equal to 0. Why? Look at the minimum point here. This is the minimum point here. So the gradient at this point always equal to 0. So if you have this relationship, you can substitute dy dx as 0 and you substitute x as negative 2. Therefore, you find the value of h, which is equal to negative 12. So this is part A. Part B, you have to find the equation of the curve. Can you find it? Yes, because you already have your dy dx. That is 3x squared. Your h is what? Negative 12. So to find the equation of the curve, you have to integrate the gradient function, 3x squared minus 12 dx. This equal to 3x. 3 over 3 minus 12x plus c. How to find the value of c? You're going to find one point. You have one point here, the minimum point, negative 2, 6. Simplify further, we have y equal to x cubed minus 12x plus c. You substitute 6 as y, x as negative 2. You will get the value of c that is negative 10. Therefore, the equation of the curve y equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 10. So this is the final answer for the equation of the curve.